the biggest tip I learned freshman year that I did not hear to buy this from any other videos I watched before moving in. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I have a, another college video which I'm really excited to start bringing back my dorm and organization and all these videos that are gonna help you guys transition into college. I'm really excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with JC Penny. Oh my gosh guys, it is, I'm so honored to be working with such a huge brand because today's video is the items you need in your freshman dorm, need in your room, because I understand shopping for your dorm can be super overwhelming. I'm starting to go through the things I have left over from last year, what I need to repurchase, all these things. So I'm here with you and we're gonna get through it. But let me just say JCPenney is a great place for you to shop. So I will definitely have the link below where you can shop JCPenney's dorm selection and get all the things you need for back to school at JCPenney. So first off, very basic, of course, you're going to need some bedding. I recommend doing a neutral color because most likely you're going to have a lot of things going on in your dorm, whether that's posters or you can decorate it with throw pillows and blankets. There's just a lot usually going on in dorm room. And so to keep my space looking cleaner, feeling more neat and organized and minimal, um, going with basic colors is a great way to keep a small space from being overwhelming. So last year my roommate and I both had white bedding and this year we are having them again. But the mistake I made last year was I got a duvet slip and mine was, although the bedding was super cute, like it wasn't aligning so my bed was just always a mess and even when I made it, it looked terrible. So I made sure this year to get a comforter and this one from jc penny this is like a set a bedding set with sheets which i think is super helpful so it has a reversible comforter a reversible sham one flat sheet one fitted sheet and one pillowcase and i decided to get this white um like embroidered tufted set and then also has like polka dot um if you can also flip it over and it's gray polka dots so very simple i have a comforter i don't have to worry about washing the slip and putting the insert back in and it was just a mess let me tell you skylar and i struggled a bit with that so although your space is limited I found last year what made my dorm room our dorm room a little bit more elevated and feel more like an actual house or like an apartment was having items that you would normally find in an apartment so having wall decor you can get pretty inexpensive wall decor um, online or make your own if you're artsy but pictures in frames um, or having nice tables like I love this one from JCPenney it is affordable it's super cute and looks I think it looks very expensive it has a white marble top with gold legs and it was super easy to put together as well so i'm so excited to put this in my dorm when i move back and have some books on it you can put a diffuser on it i think having a coffee table in our last dorm even though it was small made such a world of difference and it just elevated it made it feel more like an apartment like you have your life together type of room instead of just a typical freshman dorm so like side tables decor tapestries lamps those kinds of things you would find in a home. I was in a suite style my freshman year and I'll be in a suite style again this year. So my roommate and I would share a bathroom and the thing that makes a bathroom, I supplied them last year. I'm going to supply them this year. Bath mats. You may, you're, if you have a bathroom attached to your dorm room, you may like think of that later, but it's also still a living space. You're going to be in there a lot. And so it's so nice to have some easy to wash, bath mats where you can just take them down to the laundry room when they get dirty, wash them. Last year I had white, but this year because they got so dirty last year, I'm going with this light blue. These are from JCPenney that are so cute and so soft and fuzzy and I think they'll be great. I actually recommend getting four. If you have two sinks in your bathroom, one in front of each sink, one in front of your toilet, and then one in front of your shower. So four bath mats and you'll be good to go. For me, I found it was really hard to organize my desk area, but something that's gonna help you out. This Trexonic five port universal USB charging station is perfect. I love how slim it is, so it's not gonna take up too much space on your desk, but you're able to plug in your phone, your Apple watch, your laptop, charge your camera, charge your headphones, whatever you need to do all right here, and you just plug it in in the back. Um, yeah, I found this is super helpful or if you find a lamp that has a charging station, just having, we're in college, we use a lot of technology. So having a lot of charging stations is really helpful. Very few outlets, so don't waste an outlet using something that has a USB charger. Like Having an extra charging station, super great. My next essential, a large rug. 
Rugs are a little bit more expensive. They can be a couple hundred dollars. JCPenney does have some amazing affordable options, but I found that having a large rug is gonna make your space so much homier, so much cozier. Most dorm rooms are like an ugly tile. And so our dorm room had a large, I think it was eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11 foot rug, took up half the dorm space, transformed it guys i'm not kidding either invest in this yourself split the cost with your roommates whatever you need to do but get a rug you will thank me later it's a mini fridge um and i also recommend in the mini fridge having a freezer attached to it for when you want that ice cream your frozen trader joe's meals frozen fruit make sure your mini fridge also has a freezer a coffee maker an essential for me a lot of people are steering away from keurigs even though that's i feel like is a dorm essential so you can get a keurig or if you want to be more environmentally friendly you can get a coffee maker that doesn't take the plastic k cups or i've seen if you want to be really bougie get an espresso because they make lattes so a shoe a hanging shoe organizer this is awesome to use for shoes but what skylar and i did was we actually used a hanging shoe organizer for all our snacks we we put it on the back of our front door and put all of our chips and canned items and Lara bars, all of our snacks in that and everyone loved it. And then I actually had a different shoe organizer. If you wanna know more about all of that, I'll link my dorm videos from last year and you can see like how I organize my closet and my shoes really, really well. I think I probably had like 15 pairs of shoes in my dorm, I'm not kidding. I made sure to have shoe organizing down. I know this isn't for everyone, but for me, I used my blender a lot last year. Not for cooking. I know you can make sauces and soups in a blender. We didn't have a kitchen. We were in just a standard dorm room um, with like a mini fridge and a microwave. But a blender was super helpful for making smoothies, especially in the hotter months when I was in school. It was so nice to not spend $8 at a local smoothie place in Nashville and just be able to get some frozen fruit from Prater... Frozen fruit from Prater... <laughs> frozen fruit from Trader Joe's and some almond milk and make my smoothies in my dorm room. I'm gonna be honest, dorm rooms can get really, really gross. First off, you're living in a tiny space with probably multiple people. You're also in a building that's housing like a thousand other 19, 20 year olds and we're all pretty gross, right? Like food and smells and sweat and then it just gets gross. So I highly recommend getting an essential oil diffuser because most likely you can't have candles in your dorm. So essential oil diffuser is safe. It's gonna clean up that air, purify it, the oils can even do things like help your immune system. And what I also got halfway through the year, I got it for Christmas, was an air purifier. And uh, you can find some super small, like portable ones that are made for travel, so they're really little. And you just put that on whenever someone's feeling sick or it smells gross, and it's gonna purify your like little tiny space of air. <laughs> also, our windows didn't open. Ours was a newer dorm, so our windows didn't open, so there was no fresh air circulation in there. And yeah, it really sucked, but those two things helped. Bedside organizers. So my bed was lofted last year and I loved that. Mine and my roommate's bed was lofted and it made the space feel way bigger. Everyone walked in and felt like the space was huge. Their room was, our room was bigger than theirs because both our beds were lofted and we had a couch and it just made it seem really nice. So if your bed is lofted, then what I recommend is getting one of these hanging bedside organizers because you're not gonna have the availability of like a five foot bedside table. So I recommend getting one of these. They're just Velcro, they hook onto any post and it's where I kept my phone, my books, my headphones for when I'm about to use my phone before I go to sleep. It's where I put my sleeping mask, lip balm, moisturizer, whatever you normally have on your bedside table, you just put into these little Velcro organizers. You're gonna need a vacuum and cleaning supplies and invest in a vacuum. Skylar and I got a really cheap vacuum and second semester it broke. We still ended up using it, but I think just invest in a vacuum. I recommend vacuuming around once a week is what I would try to do in the dorm. So yeah, especially living with girls, you'll find hair all over the floor. The biggest tip I learned freshman year that I did not hear to buy this from any other videos I watched before moving in. It made the world of a difference in ours. We got a large trash can. Not having one of those mini trash cans, we probably had three other mini trash cans around our room. One under my desk, one under Skylar's desk, one in the bathroom by the toilet, and then a large, like normal sized trash can by our kitchen because we're throwing away milk cartons, we're throwing away cereal boxes, we're throwing away food. We're gonna need a large trash can. Invest, pay the $15 or whatever and get yourself a large trash can with full size trash bags. Get a remote controlled fan, okay? Because if your beds are lofted, we put our fan on top of our dressers um, so that it's spun and it hit us 
at you know 10 feet in the air however high our lofted beds were and having a remote control super nice because there's no way I was gonna climb up on top of my dresser to turn the fan on every night so remote control fan change your life it can get super stuffy and hot in a dorm room and a fan is needed lastly get some sharp knives and scissors things that you would have at your home but aren't the you know like the cute dorm things you think about buying but you're gonna need First week into living there, I'm like, oh, I need a sharp knife to open up these packages and I need a sharp knife to open up this um, meal or I need scissors, I need a stapler, batteries, a hammer, a screwdriver, all these things that you wouldn't think about because they're not cute, but you actually really do need and just keep a drawer or a box in your room where all of those things, just the necessities, the tools, keep keep all of them in a in a little place where you know where they're at in an emergency. Okay guys, that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or your new roommate. And again, thank you to JCPenney for sponsoring this video. I will have the link below where you guys can shop most of these essentials and buy everything you need for your dorm right there. Okay guys, I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye, peace out.